sky in our painting. It will come down not very far on our painting. So we're just going to mix together equal parts of western sky. And I'm going to take just a little bit of that western sky, about the same amount of warm snow, and mix the two together. And we won't grade this because there won't be that much sky showing. So I think all we need to do is use the background brush and pick up some of this. And I thin that a little bit and you may have to also, depends on how dry the paint you're using is, but uh, I need to thin it a little bit. So here we go. Starting at the top, we'll just paint this in solid. Come down four or five inches. And you really don't have to paint it in that because we want we're going to put a little bit of clouds in this anyway. So let's go with that and go back down to our palette and pick up a little bit of fog with our background brush. And then we go back. Starting in here, I'm I'm just going to put in a little bit of cloud base here. Uh, maybe a little bit right in here. And uh, then we'll go back and pick up a little bit of warm snow. We'll do this with the background brush. Now I didn't clean out the uh, paint that we had on there so I'll just just have it use a dirty brush because because we're going to need a little bit of that color in there anyway okay this is just a, a little bit of cloud here and pick up a little bit more warm snow hit it kind of hard in a couple places here now, use the finger and just kind of work these in to, together. Okay, I think it's probably all right. We'll do the same thing with, the, with this over here. You notice we don't work too too hard making this everything just so clouds can change in just a very short time so it's all right now I think we can put maybe a a little skiff of clouds right across here like this now you notice that we're kind of we put these in kind of an angle but as we get a little farther away, we'll, we'll put this in uh, quite elongated, I guess you might say. Now, uh, what I want, what we're going to do, we'll be bringing some mountains up there, so we'll just leave that as is. You go ahead and paint that in, then we'll come back and put some distant mountains in there.
All right, we have some more paint. This one is uh, Rocky Mountain and Western Sky and Fog. To start with, I'm going to, let's see, I'll mix together, uh, I'm going to leave a little bit of that fog and mix together uh, the fog and the western sky and Rocky Mountain. And these are going to be mountains. Uh, and we're going to put these on with the number four round brush and we won't thin that any. We'll just use it as as is. So we'll load up our number four round. Okay, let's let's just now these are not going to be rugged mountains. They're they're going to be um just just mountains, there won't be a lot of peaks and whatever in and then and I'm gonna let a little bit of that paint that we have on there come through. And some of this will be covered up anyway. Um And you notice I'm just putting that on sparingly uh, for the most part. Not, uh, not working very hard at, at filling the, the area that we're painting anyway. Now all this, uh, all, we're doing all this just so that we can have some a little some background in here for our uh, autumn trees that's going to be going in this painting. Now those um, the real warm colors will show up good against the the color that we're putting on now so let's let's just go with it. I don't think that I'm even going to but I tell you what I, what I'll do though let's do go back down to the palette just a moment and I'm going to pick up a little bit of the um, fog that we left I had I didn't use all of the fog and I'll just leave the paint that's in my brush uh, in there and and of course I'm just mixing some fog with it and this will be lighter areas. Now we'll I see I think our light will be coming from the left so let's kind of go on the left side of the mountain with these over probably in here. Yeah this is this was good. Again we just put it on to the side of the brush let it come off as at will, if will don't mind. There. I'll pick up a little more. Let's let that go about like that. All right, you uh, you want to go ahead and put your uh, your mountains on there like that. Then we're going to come back and really move in forward.
All right, now all we're going to use for our, we're going to put in water next, and um, I'm not going to put uh, the usual uh, formula on there. I'm just going to use some Western Sky, just as it come out of the container. Thin it a little bit. This will be very blue, but we're going to be working with a lot of warm colors and the, the, the sky we want, this will be reflection, reflecting the sky and will also show some, some clouds in this. So the part that we want to, to show, we want it to be real blue. Okay. Now, I don't really don't have to be too particular. This will all be covered up with uh, trees and, and other goodies, so all we need is just to get us kind of a fairly straight line on there. And we will put this in with the vertical strokes. Okay, there's our, there's our base for our uh, water that's going to be going on there. So uh, paint that in as I have, just using Western Sky uh, and not any other thing, any other color in it. Okay.
All right, we're going to do a little, a little sketching with the old charcoal here. Now, this down here has to be quite, in fact, has to be dry so that you can mark on it with the charcoal. We're going to start about a third of the way from, from the right side over here and put a point. That's where we're going to start there. And um, let's see, come down here about like this, maybe down here and out here, and then down here about like that. Now this is going to be the, <clears throat> the river or creek bank, the left bank, and uh, then the, the other one will be out in this area, but there was no use of sketching in anything in there right now. So this is this is what we need here about like this. Don't have to be just like that, but this is going to be kind of a little peninsula coming out here and I'm if hopefully I'm going to have room to put a little cabin right right in this area and there's going to be a lot of trees back in back in this area here. So uh, let's let's go down to our palette. Now I have some mahogany out here. We're going to use about two parts mahogany and one part fog. Mix them to mix those together. Gives us a kind of a rich chocolate color. Okay, now. Um, let's see, I think we'll use the uh, we'll use the background brush. And I think we'll use it quite wet, to, rather than or quite dry. I mean, I, I mean, uh, not wet. Uh, so we'll, we'll gather up some of this with the background brush, and. We're going to start right in right in this area and put in some some dark. This is going to be trees along through here. Won't hurt to come up in here a little bit. Now we probably we probably will come you come back and use use some of this again. Now this is just the okay. Uh, now right in right in this area I'm gonna hit this kind of heart coming right up into here and come down into this area and this will be the bank over on this side but there's going to be a lot of a lot of trees on it now these are going to be uh they're not going to be quake and aspen type tree they're, they're just going to be deciduous trees that uh, of different uh, varieties so uh, if you want to paint that in, as I have, along with the, the little sketch here, then we're going to come back and uh, put in some uh, uh, grass tones in this area and start building on our trees.
I put out some uh, autumn out here that we're going to work with. Then also we're going to be using some of the mahogany and the fog that was left over. And if you don't have any left over, well, you, we probably should uh, make up a little bit more. So if you remember the formula was two parts mahogany, one part fog. That's maybe Okay, now I'm going to take some of this fog put there and put, we'll mix it maybe half and half with the mahogany mixture. And we don't have to mix it too good, that's plenty. And using, again, using the background brush and dry. Uh, we'll gather up some of that and go right over, uh, let's see, let's do this, let's take this up here, Whoop. And this is going to be some trees in here. And then we'll bring out some of this right in here. Okay. Give some more of this. Give this a shot right up here. Okay, now we don't get too carried away and take out our mountains all together. But, uh, all right, why don't you just uh, do that much? Then we're going to uh, come back and um, put a little bit, bit more uh, leaves on this area, and then, then we'll start working mid ground.
we're going to put on some light metal now using the background brush and we won't, th won't thin it either and just use it as as is and uh, go up to our canvas panel okay let's just go in here and fill this in well keep knocking stuff off and the old uh, painting here. Fill that in. You notice I'm just scumbling that paint on there, losing the effect of trying to bring out the grass the effect of some grasses now we will be putting other other color in there okay now I think I'll just put some over right in here too. Okay, let's let that let's let that rest a minute. You go ahead and put that in, then we'll come back and uh, try to dream up something else to do. Okay, now I have put out four colors. We have uh, autumn and sunbeam, sunset and spring. What I'm going to do, and we're going to use the background brush and use it dry. And we're just going to mix some of this into our foliage now. All right, I think we'll just start right in this this area. Now don't don't go overboard and take out all the 
all of our goodies. And remember, we have some other colors coming in there. So. Now, there are other brushes that I could use, but you don't have them, so I, I'm not going to use anything that you don't have. Okay, let's go back now. Okay, now we're going to uh, use some sunset. And we're using, we won't be mixing anything else, although I didn't clean out my bright. We'll just leave it with a little bit of autumn in there. Now we'll just go in here and don't put as, quite as much of this in as we did of the autumn. Just sparingly, I think. Okay, I think that's as much as that. Uh, that we want to put in there, maybe a little bit right out here. All right. Now we're going to put in just a little bit of spring. And again, we won't clean out a brush. We'll just leave it as is. Don't thin this any. Uh, any and we'll go up and try this I'm going to just hit this a little bit uh, here and there maybe some trees that uh, haven't really turned yet so Uh, we'll be coming back and putting some uh, trunks on some of these trees. Okay, now we're going to put a little bit of uh, sunbeam on the in there, and then hopefully I'm going to come back and put a little cabin right in right in this area and then we'll start working on our water same thing don't you don't clean out the brush and this is pretty strong stuff so uh, maybe mix that up just a little bit with, and then we'll see what happens Okay, now with this, we want to get out on, on pretty much on the ends of our trees, the tops in the areas like so. And you see, I'm, I'm really putting that on very sparingly because it's, if you get too much, then it doesn't look too good.
just a little bit more now. Okay, I think that's going to be pretty good. Just lose this up here now. All right, let's let's leave that about like that. Then we'll come back and put our cabin in there, and then they'll know more where where we need to go.
we're going to sketch on a little cabin on here right now. Well, I'm going to uh, stay on the right side of center line. This may seem a little heavy right now because of, because of these trees and uh, the cabin being on, on the right side of center line. But we are going to put some quite large trees in, in this area and take it uh, in here. So I think that uh, may be the place to put the, to put the cabin. So I'm going to put in the um, closest corner here. And uh, let's see. Take this back this way. Now we're just kind of sketching this little hammer on there. Maybe take that down just a little bit farther. Okay. I know your old hat that had uh, painting or sketching now, so we'll just leave that about like that. Okay. I think that's going to be all right. We didn't have to worry too much about our vanishing points or anything like that. So let's, uh, now that's just, just a sketch on, on there. We'll, we'll come back and paint that in and, and uh, straighten it up a little bit. So you go ahead and sketch, sketch your uh, little building on there. Then we're going to, I think I'll start next to uh, working some of the uh, clouds into the water down here, and then we can start bringing the reflections into the water also.
uh, has some warm snow and fog out here. Uh, and I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to mix the two together. Just, and not, not really mix it a lot, but about like that. Then I'm going to use the side of the brush and both sides. Now, I have to tell you that I, uh, I washed out the brushes as w much as I could and then I use paper towel to dry it because we want kind of a dry brush for this we're going to put some some um, clouds uh, reflected clouds in the water so let's try that okay now we just we're just going to use this uh, very lightly and uh, this area up in here we're just going to bring into our water so We'll go straight up like this. See how that goes on there? Okay, I think that's about, let me try just a little bit more right in, right in the, with these clouds right in here. I think we need to reflect a little bit more right in here. Now a lot, of, a lot of this will have some other trees here that will be reflecting in the water so some of it won't, sh won't show. But let's let that stay about like that. You go ahead and put that on. Then we're going to come back and um, work on our cabin and also start bringing reflections down in our water.
we have some dark wood out here and we're going to go quite a little stretch during this time I'm going to put the the uh, darks on the cabin and also some tree trunks in there so let's uh, let's do that this is very dark but we will be putting some lighter colors on there also okay with this let's just do this I'm just gonna the the shape of this cabin I'm going just going to uh, paint in with the dark color and then we'll come back and and uh, put some light lights on it accentuate the areas that need to be accentuated And there's a cabin profile there anyway. And that's that's probably good enough uh, for right now. Now I'm gonna go use it using the same thing plus I'll use the uh, and I'm just gonna pick up some dark wood and uh, using the number two round brush we're going to start putting some trunks in here now but we'll get back in this area and there will be not as indefinite as uh, as there will be out uh, out front Now, head to thin, that's pretty good. Now, look, these are coming in a little closer in here. Be a little more definite. Okay, now let's uh, go back over on this side now, and uh, this will be a uh, more. See, we want to start that about uh, about here, I think, and come up into here. Kind of take these out here. You can see how careful I am with this. Okay, I think that's that's good enough for for now, uh, yeah, you go ahead and um, paint paint the the cabin and, and uh, the tree trunks on there. Then we're going to we will be putting some light 
uh, trunks in there. Plus we'll start putting our reflections down here.
Now, we're going to start a little bit of reflections in, in the water and to and we'll do just kind of what we did for the uh, for the colors in the leaves and the trees and whatever we use use some mahogany and uh, fog to start with put this on the side of the background brush the brush is quite dry and we'll go up and try this starting uh, right under under the uh, the uh, trees right in here see I'm bringing these colors in here I'm bringing down and bring them down into here and these will come clear down into to this area let's see that's about right down about right in here come right across to there then probably this this area in here will not show and I doubt that this will uh, in here but we are going to put some trees in this area that will um, that will be reflected in the water. Okay, now we'll take this area here, come down about right in here now. Let's see, you want this dry. Tell you what, why don't you do, why don't you do that much, then we'll come back and start um, putting some other uh, color on there. Although, I tell you what, let's do while we're while we're doing this, let's use the some of this same color to put on our cabin. I'm going to put a little bit more of the fog in there, and we'll see how this will work. That won't be too bad. Okay. Now, we'll put a little more fog on, on that, and we'll put this side in. Go the other direction here. Okay. All right, let's let's let that stay like that, and then we'll come back and and uh, cool this down a little bit right in here when we, when we put it on. Otherwise, we'll leave the cabin pretty much as is. We'll put a window or something in there. Uh, then we'll come back and uh, put some color in here.
Now, we have four colors out here. We have autumn, sunset, spring, and sunbeam. And that is the colors that we use for our lights on our trees. So to st uh, first off, using the background brush and clean, clean it out first before you use it and dry it off as, as good as you can. It's, uh, it can be damp. It's probably best if it is damp, but don't have it. Don't have any water in it. We load this up on the side uh, and pat it, some of it out. Oh, because we don't want this too strong. But let's try this. I think we want to remember this will be dark down in here, but that on out on the ends. Why we will start putting the color. So let's start about right in here. See how I put that on? Uh, light, very light, very light. Okay, now this in here, this will come out. Do the same thing with this. Now we won't uh, we won't mess with that too much. We'll just go go back and clean out our brush now. Okay, now we're going to use the uh, sunset in the same way. Uh, put some this in the side of the brush. Uh, little more and we'll load up the other side that should uh, should do it and we'll come over here and and do the same thing as light I'm just not quite as heavy as we did the uh, uh, autumn because we don't have that much color in the trees anyway. Okay. Now we'll go back and clean up. Okay, again, I cleaned out my brush and dried it off as best I could. And now I would use a little bit of the spring. Same thing. We just use the same coloring that we used with our leaves. Okay, let's try this. Okay. Light touch, same thing. Okay, now, now we have the sunbeam. We're going to do the same thing. Dry brush and light touch. Okay, let's try it. Okay, now this is just seems a little strong somehow or other. So. Okay, I think that's that's about it for uh, 
for the uh, reflection. I'm, I'm going to leave it like that, and we may work on the surface on that a little bit, a little bit later. But uh, for now, let's just let it leave it like that, and make sure that all these colors come through.
Now you notice I have some more paints out here. I just replenished the paints that we have. Uh, plus I put some additional uh, mahogany out here. We'll be using this as, as we go, but uh, we're running low on time and I want to get as much done as possible. So to first start with, I'm going to put a, uh, using the number four round brush, I'm going to put a trunk of a tree right uh, over here. I think we'll just start right up, maybe about right in here. Okay, see you know, how that adds some depth to that, just putting that much on there. Uh, now, um, while I have, I'm going to use the uh, background brush and pick up uh, some mahogany. Put right in this area here. Also, we'll, we'll be putting some some mahogany uh, out here and putting some some touches on the uh, grasses out here. Okay, now. Uh, now, let's see, I want to, uh, you want to use a, a, the small brush and pick up a little bit of the color that we did the, with the, uh, putting the, these tones, uh, the dark tones on here. I'm going to put <clears throat> this on this side of this tree because this is where the light is coming from. And then we'll also take some, some branches out here. And we'll put a little bit of Uh, some leaves on this little armor here. Okay, I think that's. Why don't you go ahead and do that much? Then, we'll, then we'll come back and finish this up.
Okay, I'm going to pick up some dark wood with the number four round brush. We have to put a little bit of reflection of the trees in the water. Okay, now we'll start right in here and start and put this in about like this. Not too, not too heavy. Okay, now, uh, well, while I have this cut, I'm going to use a number of two round and uh, put a little bit of the reflection of some of these trunks in here and we'll just, just, uh, just some indications like this is, is about all we can do. Okay, now also using the background brush, pick up a little bit of uh, uh, mahogany and we'll bring, bring some of this right down in here, reflection here. Okay, then also we use uh, use the same brush and go back and start putting in some uh, some of these uh, these colors. Um, yeah, let's just put them in this way. And as I do this, I'll, I'll put it right down into the reflection also. Now, uh, go to the, put a little bit of this in there. Okay, now we reflect that down in there. Then the spring, flex some of that in there, put a little bit in the, you do this when you're in a hurry. get as much done so you have a chance to finish this up. Now I'm going to let you finish up the cabin too. Uh, it, it needs some work on it but uh, old hands like you are, you, I'm sure you do a good job on that. Okay now a little bit of this and we'll, I still have to put some surface on the water. Now we put this out at the out at the end down here. Down here. Okay. Uh, all right. Now, using the background or the uh, number two uh, round brush, we're going we're going to put a little bit of uh, of indication of where the where the bank is along along here and I'm just using some some uh, fog to do this and this will be, be going to be boulders or I mean rocks coming out in here uh, and I hope you do a lot better job with your rocks than I am 
Okay, now, also, I need some mahogany and uh, need to put a, a bank along here. and a bank here. Okay, now I'm going to use the fan brush and I hope you can keep up with this just to and some, oh, I'm putting the wrong thing. I want to use some, some uh, warm snow and uh, western sky. And we're going to put just a little surface on here, just like this. And you have to be careful. Don't put too much on. I tell you what, I'm going to let you finish that up because I have run out of time. Also, I need to put just a little bit of finishing touches on our um, little meadow out here. And so we'll use some spring. Probably should show a shadow from that uh, from that cabin too. Okay, now let's put a little bit of this right over here. that that's not a very finished product but it uh, gives you a chance to uh, to know more what to do with it uh, and if you want to put some uh, foliage on this 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 will be fine if not why well, you can leave it as is <laughs>